This is insane. How can you put a sign like Death Road? Look at how tiny that car is and it's barely fitting in the road. This is not the worst part. A few months ago, our friends from Beautiful Destinations got challenged by the United Nations to attempt to create the first ever sustainable travel checklist. A simple list of things that can be done as a means of limiting our carbon footprint as we travel. They forwarded the challenge on to us and asked us if we want to tag along on their next trip. It could actually be one of the most exciting mm. that we've ever done. And naturally, we said yes. Even though we feel guilty sometimes for flying so much to film our different adventures around the world, we do our best to minimize the damage by carbon offsetting all our flights. And we also believe that traveling to countries that are less visited to can be of benefit in some cases. There's a link to an article in the description that explains how it can actually boost economies, which eventually facilitates environmental conservation, animal protection, and local education. And so we thought, why don't we tag along on this opportunity to work with beautiful destinations and the United Nations to educate ourselves and potentially showcase a few easy things that can be done for those who want to be more mindful when they travel. For this challenge, we decided to travel to Bolivia, one of the least visited countries in South America. And unbeknownst to most, one of the most beautiful and biodiverse countries in the world. Look at this view. But it also has something else that stood out to us when we researched it. Oh my God. The most dangerous road in the world. This 50 mile long stretch of dirt road has an elevation of 600 meters from the bottom of the canyon and with fog and no guardrail, some two to 300 people die on it every year. So with a full itinerary planned for three days in Bolivia, ending with the adrenaline of the most dangerous road, we were ready to explore Bolivia. Ooh. Wow, all right, it's time for this trip. To really get started. Squad going out. Hi guys, Woo. Bolivia. <laughs> What's the destination? We're going to the Valley of the Moon. What's your name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Catch you later, bro. Oh, what a loser. <laughs> nah, we're homies. We are at the Valley of the Moon, beginning our journey of exploration in Bolivia. So we're gonna be following along with these guys and just along the way, trying to take all the boxes of making sure that we are as carbon neutral while we're here as possible. And I think we should maybe start with the reef safe sunscreen. This is not really necessary in this situation because we're not going diving, but a huge part of what's destroying the coral reefs is that people hop in the water with sunscreen that has a lot of chemicals. So by buying reef safe sunscreen, you can actually be a lot more mindful of wildlife in the ocean. There you go, you're good. Nobody else is feeling the altitude, right? <laughs> You doing all right, buddy? Yeah, we're good. Does my voice sound different? Yeah, it sounds good. Hi, buddy. I did not bring the... I did not get the memo that we were going to freaking hike. And very, very little sleep. It turns into a, a specific form of insanity that I like to call... You have no name for it? Do you even speak English? Did you grow up in the U.S. you didn't know how to say... I know, you grew up in the U.S. I didn't know how to say something. Uh, good comeback, dude. Great comeback. Great job. You make fun of me one, one more time in front of my f***ing audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'll do. <laughs> we are wimps. We've climbed the mountains of Poland in negative 20 degree weather. But when you really get up high in altitude, it affects you so much more. Dude, nobody Here. cares. Stop complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna come up! No people can't shoot the camera! We can't shoot the camera! Okay, so we are at one of the main local markets in La Paz and it's everything from fruits, dresses, they literally have anything you could ask for. So on our way to the world's most dangerous road, we wanted to get some snacks. So luckily they have this container and we're gonna fill it up. Bueno. What's it? 
some cranberries, pistachios, some of this. I don't even know what this is. Podemos ponerlo? Así está este. Lleno. Sí, lleno. What is this? This is like fried peanuts? Oh, qué bueno. Madre mía. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna buy some ponchos. What color are we feeling? I think I'm feeling the blue. Oh. Ah, me encanta. <laughs> what, dude? What, dude? What? <laughs> boogie, your turn. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, what? That one is sick. Yeah, it looks great. Perfecto. You look like you're supporting a great cause. Great cause? I mean, you gotta match the colors, right? Yeah. Mucha gracia. Yeah, gracias. Sí, mucha gracia. Where the hell are we? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, Tom? Uh, we're doing a, a shoot for the bamboo cutlery to show some sustainable travel. So, we've got a pretty cool setup here doing like a crane shot from oh, above, nice. wearing a different poncho in each location, different setup with table, different location. Nobody cares! <laughs> <laughs> Everything that is around us right now, all this salt flat, used to be a lake. And these used to be the islands on the lake. And now, obviously you can get to them by car or by foot. Apparently, according to our guide, this is the flattest place on earth, which means your shadows at sunset can go about a mile long. So we'll see how that turns out, but that's freaking crazy, man! <laughs> The day has come. We are about to embark our journey towards the most dangerous road in the world. Apparently 300 people die on this road a year. I think we're about to embark on a pretty gnarly journey today. You don't know this driver? I don't know him. I'm about to ask him his name. Huh. <laughs> okay, so it's 5.30 in the morning. What we didn't realize before starting this trip was that we were gonna be driving in an eight passenger van. This is literally our vehicle. And they're like, yeah, that's the car we're going in. And you're just like, what? The freaking bus? I mean, it'll take up the majority of the road. One little wrong maneuver and we're just completely ruined. So where are we exactly, Anders, right now? La Cumbre. So we are 4,600 meters. So from here, we're just gonna go down all the way to 1,500 meters. This is nearly the size of Mount Kilimanjaro. Tom, do you know if, if Joe is joining us? If who? Joe? <sighs> Who's Joe? Joe Mama! <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is our driver taking us on the road. Hola, how safe is the road according to him? This is es un carril solamente. Es es muy peligroso. He says it's just one one lane, so it's, it can be very dangerous. <laughs> oh, he'd be like, no, it's good. I drive there all the time. La costumbre, el hábito. I say it's no, no problem. He's, he's used to it. So I don't know if I'm like, if I would feel more confident. No, I wouldn't feel more confident driving it myself. It's just a dude, you know. It's just it's a guy. Oh, I don't even have a seatbelt right now. I don't think a seatbelt is gonna help us with our dramatic fall <laughs> from the road. <laughs> At least we buckled in for our death. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. <laughs> The driver is like super aggressive. He just 
did like a crazy turn and he's like skipping past other cars and he can't even see like five meters in front of him there's so much fog our driver apparently had eight coffees this morning <laughs> he's in a rush <laughs> Yep, this is actually beginning. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is insane. I thought we were all nicknaming it Death Road, but how can you put a sign like Death Road? So that is the road. How in the world oh, is our that. truck gonna fit? Like, Look at how tiny that car is and it's barely fitting in the road. This is not the worst part. This is like two lane part. This is two lanes? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> car coming guys. Wow, holy sh Whipping. This is stupid. Oh, really? <laughs> stupid. Freddy, is that nervioso? No? Tranquilo. 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 Para mí es no mucho tranquilo. Yeah, he's got beautiful <laughs> hair. <laughs> it's in his pelo. <laughs> Increíble. Nunca he peinado. Nunca Oh my god, dude. Let's go. All right, we are now walking on the death road. This is supposed to fit two cars. It fits two humans. If I lie down, I would like be almost the length of this. Lie down. Wow. <laughs> My God. Yeah, 2010. Someone's memorial. Close this freaking thing is. That is the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, we have survived the world's most dangerous road. Jake was scared for his life. We almost went off the road like a couple times, but we're good, we're good. So we've arrived at La Senda Verde, and it's an animal sanctuary, it's an eco lodge run by locals here, and we're gonna be staying here for the night. So here, actually, the humans are in cages and the animals are on the outside. So we're like the zoo for the animals. Uh, and so animals are actually able to roam wherever they want. There's no like border for them to go, but this is where they feel safe and nurtured. Where is he going? Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Oh! <laughs> I freaked out. <laughs> oh, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> T-Boogie and I have gotten put in a tree house for the night. It's in the middle of this entire jungle. Through this little path. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> this is our neighbor for the day and for the evening. Welcome to our new uh, our new abode. It's in the middle of this entire jungle. We're just surrounded by nature and animals and they can literally just hop up on this porch and just hang out. We just got woken up by this guy. She was jumping on top of the roof. Hey. Hey, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> We're buying bamboo cutlery. This is gonna be a super useful kit whenever we travel. It's all local, it's all locally produced, and all the funds go to helping this animal sanctuary. It's a great way to have an impact on the local communities. Which I guess, yeah. 
Hasta luego. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, we felt so welcomed and so happy to leave with this and an amazing experience. Oh, thanks. Thanks for helping us with that. Do people volunteer here? Yes, yes, people can volunteer here. This is a great place to volunteer. It will change your life. And then you can spread word about the animals, the planet, and what we can do to help the new generations to survive. Thank you very much. Awesome. After a few days in Bolivia, we were enchanted by this country. The biodiversity, welcoming culture, and having survived the stupid decision of driving down the world's most dangerous road left us feeling rejuvenated and hungry to travel more. At the end of the day, we're not the people to turn to for flawless environmental wisdom. But after spending a whole trip actively seeking ways to lower our carbon footprint, it left a mark on us that trickled over into our daily lives. It can be intimidating to start assessing your own carbon footprint, and it might take a bit of time to get it right. But nothing is stopping us from taking just a few steps in the right direction so that we can collectively preserve our planet. Going on this trip with our friends from Beautiful Destinations was incredible, and we're excited to travel with them again soon. There's a link to a much more extensive sustainable travel checklist in the description below if you're interested to learn more, and we'll see you next week.